Hello, this is Matt Renna again. This is Module 5, which I call Basic Programming Using the If Function. The If Function is really nothing more than a logic sequence of if this is the case, then do this, uh, otherwise or else do that. So there's really sort of three items that you'll need um, and we'll go through sort of how to how to program that. So I set up a, uh, a basic sort of spreadsheet here um, and uh, you can see some bit of data. Uh, I'm just going to get rid of that right now. Uh, so you can see first name, last name, uh, and age. All right, so what we'll do is we'll start writing um, the formula. So we always start a formula with equal sign. And in this case, we're going to write if and open parentheses. So now we've started uh, our formula. And as you can see, Excel starts to sort of give you some help uh, right over here to give you an idea. Um, this is, I don't find that helpful. You can see not very intuitive as to what it's asking, but basically there's going to be, again, three bits of information that we're going to need to create um, our sort of basic programmed uh, logic of, of the if. So let's, let's just kind of keep it simple first with text. Um, and we'll say, let's write a formula that says if um, in the column B the last name is Smith, uh, then we want it just to say the last name is Smith, okay? So we would say if B4, okay, equals, open parentheses, because we're talking with text, Smith, close parentheses, then, okay, this is the next section, then I'm going to have text print out, um, and this is Smith, okay? And otherwise what if it doesn't if that field before is not Smith then we'll just open quotes close quotes um, we can do that or we can just say this is not a Smith close quotes and then we close parentheses if you don't do that close parentheses Excel will kind of ask you and it'll do it automatically for you so you then enter and you can see that you're getting a return of this is Smith because in before uh, it is a Smith. Now let's copy that all the way down to our different um, items. And you can see for any field, so this is not a Smith, and you can see this returns. This is not a Smith because it did not equal Smith, and it will do that for all of these up until this last one. So you can see it says this is Smith on the last one, so that's a positive hit. Okay, so that's basically text. Now if we didn't want it to say anything, I'm going to go in here and I'm gonna, just going to delete and go open close quotes okay it doesn't change that because that's a that's a hit for Smith that's a positive now if I change that you'll see that it does not show anything so this highlights of our fields here um, the two that are sort of the positive match for what we're looking for um, let's now jump to the the age column where we're dealing with numbers alright so again equals if now let's go to age and instead of being an equal, when you're dealing with numbers, you have a lot more flexibility. What if we want to find out, let's say, who's over age 65? So if C4, which is the age column, is greater than or equal to 65, then we'll say over 65. Otherwise, okay, if it's not over 65, let's just make it blank. Close the parentheses, hit enter, and you can see since that's an age 57, we're not going to get anything. And we'll copy the formula down. I'm using the control C and then uh, enter. And you can see that I will get a positive hit for all those values that are greater than 65. Okay? Um, so that's the basic function of if. I find it very useful um, in a variety of different ways, but I certainly do use this quite often. Sometimes to look for, um, highlight certain data fields that you can't easily um, sort. Um, uh, there's just a variety of different reasons uh, that I've used this, and I think it's a good function to know.